Last week on Ask Dr. Adam, we talked about passivation as a method for protecting metallic parts from the environment. This week, I want to focus on a specific type of passivation that I mentioned called phosphating. Stick around because today we'll take a deep dive into phosphating to give you a better understanding of what's going on in your process and why it's important. Phosphate conversion coating, or phosphating, is a chemical treatment applied to various types of metals as a passivation method to improve its environmental resistance, and in some cases, provide lubrication. It can also act as an adhesion layer for other coatings, like paint. You may also hear the terms phosphate coating, phosphatization, phosphatizing, or simply phosphating, and some people also use the term parkerizing. Now, the concepts behind phosphating are relatively simple. We apply a dilute solution of phosphoric acid mixed with a few other compounds depending on the specific solution. The most common forms are soluble iron, zinc, or manganese salts. These chemicals react with the iron on the surface of our part to form a very thin layer of these metallic phosphates, which is what provides us the protection we're looking for. Now, you'll choose a specific process and phosphating solution based on their manufacturability and your end goals. For example, common methods for applying the solution are through spray or immersion, depending on what best fits in your process. The selection of the coating, whether it be a manganese, iron, or zinc-based coating, will depend on the properties you're after, whether it be corrosion resistance, lubricity, or as a primer for other coatings. If you have any questions about how to choose, you can always talk with your chemical supplier and they can point you in the right direction. Now for some chemistry. When you apply the phosphating solution to your part, what's actually happening? Well, the dilute phosphoric acid will react with the surface iron, causing the pH to go up right at the surface of the part. Now, remember all those extra salts that we added? Well, those are only soluble under acidic conditions. So as the pH at the surface rises, those salts get precipitated as metal phosphates onto the surface of the part, which ends up being our coating. Now, some phosphate conversion coating solutions don't contain those same metal salts that I mentioned. Instead, they rely on the oxidation of the metallic substrate itself as a source of metal ions to then be plated out as the metallic phosphate. As you can probably guess, we can then change the properties of that coating based on the chemical composition, temperature, and the time we leave it in that solution. Properties like the grain structure of the deposited coating, or maybe the inclusion of other compounds within the coating, which you can imagine will have an impact on its properties. Now, keep in mind that this process can also be used on many different types of metals to provide similar protection. All right, if you like that content, make sure to hit the like button. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. Now, if you have any questions about phosphating, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can send an email to askdradam at kaizen.com. Thanks again, and stay clean. Oh,